Hello, my name is Silly Tilly, and let me tell you a little bit about my painting named Garden of Gladness. So I thought I would just talk about it a little bit because, oh, and I could talk about it for hours because it is the center of my vision for my artwork. Um, I was inspired to paint this piece when I was reading in Isaiah. Isaiah 51.3 says, For the Lord comforts Zion. He comforts all her waste places and turns her wilderness into the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in her. Thanksgiving and the voice of song. I got this picture in my head. It wasn't exactly like this, but you do your best. But I got a picture in my head of being God's garden. And to me, over everything that this piece could symbolize, it symbolizes God as a comfort. It says the Lord comforts Zion. He turns her waste places into the garden of the Lord. And at the time of reading this and painting this picture, I was especially feeling depressed and like there was no one there to comfort me. Part of it is just being comfortable in my own skin and not trying to be perfect all the time. I deal a lot with people pleasing and the need for perfection which is impossible to attain. So this piece was a huge comfort to me because it's a reminder of God comforting me. Because anytime you're working in a garden, you're tearing up the soil, pulling the weeds, and uh, it's so painful if someone's pulling weeds out of your heart because you love them. You think that they're beautiful. You want to hold on to them. At least I know I do. But the truth is, the weeds are ugly compared to the flowers and the beauty that could be planted in their place. And although it's painful to pull up the roots and have a trowel and dig, chomping, pulling rocks, throwing dirt, that stuff is so painful and it really hurts when you're thinking about it in a spiritual way. But the kind of fulfillment and beauty that is replaced in those areas is so much more valuable and important. The problem is it takes a really long time for those new plants to grow up and so there's usually a lot of pain, especially at the beginning of this new growth and new birth. But then, as time goes on, it gets less painful. But there is still much more growing that needs to be done. You have to look really carefully to see but these are hands that have stars and galaxies on them. These are a representation of God's hands. He comes from wherever, the universes, the galaxies, and comes down here to where I am. So small, so nasty, covered in dirt, full of waste places and deserts. And he comes down and he works in my life with his hands. The verse that I painted this from in the Bible doesn't really talk about God's hands in specific, but there's so many verses that do talk about God's hands and 
how he uses them in our life. He gets them dirty. The God of everything that we know, everything that we see, everything that we feel, the God that we cannot even understand or imagine, gets his hands in our heart, in our dirt, and he doesn't mind. Perhaps underneath his fingernails is some crying from us. And he carries it with him throughout his day. Not that God is bound by time, but we all know what it's like to work in the garden and then for days later, you still have the dirt under your fingernails. The Bible says we are written on God's hands. We're always forefront in his mind. He's always thinking and imagining of new ways he can comfort us, be there for us. I talk a lot about this painting as a field of flowers that you're sitting in with God. You're there together like friends, talking and comforting you, asking questions. In the background, you can see, well, you might be a little far away, but you can see music notes. That's just a representation how when we have good things coming into our lives, that thanksgiving, singing, and joyousness is going to be flowing out of our lives and flowing far, far, much bigger than the expanse of our body, but just flowing out to others constantly. That's kind of a picture of this water too. The water is not in that verse, but there's so many other verses that talk about and the water is God's spirit. That's the life source to the garden. And there's so much of it. There's extra. Some of it seeps down into the flowers. But there's so much extra life. So much bubbling up. Spilling out. Past the expanse of our body to others. This painting to me is so special. It's, it's one of my favorites. I love all my paintings. It's hard to pick a favorite, but this one means the most to me so far. And I think it's because it came from a really desperate place in my heart. It was desperate for comfort, desperate to know God is there. I wanted something to remind me that even in the darkest of moments, in my waste places, in my deserts, he's there, helping, planting, growing, inspiring. That's this painting in a nutshell, as they say. But I think you could stare at it for your whole life and see something new and see something that speaks to you in a new way. Just for instance, the roots. How much symbolism does a root have? How much power does a root have to pull this life-giving source of water out and feed the beauty? And it's an important question when you ask yourself, what am I rooted in? What do I draw my life source from? 
I think one of the most important things I would like to say in this video is just how this is a vision to my artwork and how it has fed and nurtured and grown the artwork I'm doing now. Because when I painted it, I was just thinking one Bible verse that I love and painted, but now I'm thinking I'm going to paint so many more Bible verses. And every time I show this out in front of people, people come up to me and talk to me how it speaks to them. And that kind of purpose and beauty is what I want my life to be about, to show other people how they can have a connection with God, to show myself how I can have a connection with God. It's so easy to get lost in other areas. But this piece is a big inspiration to my artwork and the vision of what my artwork, or the vision of what I hope my artwork will become, is a nugget of truth for people. And that whether they have the original on their wall or a reproduction, it will remind them that God is there to comfort them. Just as it did for me the other day when I was getting sad and depressed and sitting on the couch, I looked up at this painting and I remembered that God is there, right there in my sadness. And I pray for you who watch this video because your life is worthy of the all-powerful, unsearchable God to come down and get his hands dirty in your life. You're loved. So this is for you, and I pray for you. Even though I don't know who you are, I don't know who's watching this, but the one I pray to knows. Thanks for watching. If you would like to get your own reproduction of this painting, sign up by May 31st for my Faith Treasury subscription boxes. The next box goes out in June, and it's going to be all about this painting. If you like this video, I would love to hear how it spoke to you. Let me know in the comments below and hit the thumbs up. Plus, if you have a friend you think could use this encouragement, please share the video with them.